Hola friends, this is Luis Francisco and welcome to my YouTube channel. And for today's video, I will be talking about my college program and the courses that I have taken in my first two years in college. So, if you did forget me na guys, or if you don't know me, I am Patricia Luis S. Francisco, a third year BS Bio student in Don Honor Ventura State University here in Pampanga. So, let's talk about my college program, the BS Bio. BS Bio or the Bachelor of Science in Biology is a four-year college program that is focused on biological sciences and the conduct of research. It is a program that provides the student a comprehensive preparation for education in biological fields, researches, and also uh, medical studies. So it is also a PMED. So this program, the BS Bio, doesn't have a board exam. After you graduate, mo, wala kang board exam. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's just a prepar it's a preparatory course. I don't know. If you know why, can you comment below why? So disclaimer lang. This is how I took them based on my school's curriculum. So pwede sa ibang school, iba yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga subjects ng BS Bio nila. So, babasahin ko. Meron ng copy dito. These are the courses that I have taken in my first year in BS Bio. So, for the first semester, I have taken General Botany and General Zoology as my major subjects. And for the minor, minor subjects were Understanding the Self, Readings in Philippine History, Mathematics in the Modern World, P1, and ROTC. So, in General Biology, we had an in-depth understanding on plants. Botany, plants. Their structure, their parts, their properties, the different biochemical activities that they are in the plant. But in the sa evolution of plants. But the hapyao lang because we have another subject for that. Evo bio for the next semester. Yes. So for the lab work, first talaga activity we did nung sa botany was to draw a microscope. Like may mas microscopes na namin to so draw namin and label the parts. Tapos yun lab activities naman for the drawings like review ng specimens slide tapos draw label draw label etc tapos we also had field work sa general botany namin lumabas kami ng classroom like sa vicinity lang ng school tapos hanap kami ng different leaves different plants tapos ayun si check namin kung yung venation ng leaf eh para little net like tapos tignan din namin yung arrangement niya if like it's compound or simple something like that tapos basta ayun mag-observe kami ng plant or ng leaves or ng part ng plant tapos i-do-draw as usual and then they will I have experienced talaga lots of um, drawings drawing activities nung first year sa BS Bot sa BS Bio sa Botany Botany talaga ayun drawing and label so general zoology naman we studied the animal kingdom and the animal life itself uh, included na dito yung physiology nila, development, pati evolution, pati yung like relationship nila with other organisms. Ganun. So, during laboratory namin dito sa general zoology, we did was, what we did was, parang sa general botany din, like mag-review ng specimen sa microscope and then um, color label, ayun, tinigan namin yung different cells, tapos may naalala pala ako, nag, ano kami, swab ng cheek cells namin, tapos view din namin yun sa microscope. Tapos, um, yung pinaka-significant dito sa general zoology namin, sa school namin, sa program ko, um, is nag-dissect kami yung frog. Ayun, isa lang ang dissection namin sa general zoology, which is yung frog dissection. Ayan. Moving forward sa second semester ng first year, I have taken systematics and organic chemistry na major subjects ko well yung minor subjects ko were stat bio purposive communication art appreciation ee2 and rotc2 so sa systematics we focused on the nomenclature and classification of um, living things or organisms based on the kingdom phylum class order family genus down to the species level so um ito yung pinaka memorable sa akin feeling ko feeling ko itong 3 years ko sa college because we had many dissections talaga dito. We had many um, animal dissections. We focused on the animals kesa sa plants. So, nam, nilista ko actually yung mga naaalala ko pa na animals na dinais 
dissect namin. So, we had fish dissection. We used Oropromis aureus or the tilapia as a specimen. We also had gallus gallus to Mexicus or the chicken as the representative of the class aves. We also had squid for the representative of cephalopods. We also had worm, worm dissection, shrimp dissection. Um, what else? I think that's all. Ah, we also had the laboratory rat for the as the representative of the phylum for data. Yes. So, um, final output of the systematics was to create, was to produce a pen paper. So, mine was about the Kynorinsha or the mud dragons. Ayan. Pero, kalimutan ko na kasi kung saan ko nalagay copy nito. Like, nadilip ko na or something. Hindi ko naman siya share. Pero, ayan. About sa kanila yung term paper ko na. So, org chem naman or the organic chemistry, we focused on the structure, properties, and reactions of carbon-containing compounds. Ah, I was about to say carbon-containing compounds. Yeah. But, carbon-containing compounds. Involved dito yung nag-name kami, like, tapos illegal namin functional group, and etc. Tapos, ayan, mag-name ako for example. This is a 255-trimethyl-2-hexene, and the other is a 1-2-3-propane-triol, ayan. So, halos ganyan yung mga activities namin noon, mag-name, name, name the structure, or draw the structure, ganun. We didn't have many laboratory activities like laboratory experiments because expired yung mga expired yung mga ano namin nun, yung mga chemicals, lab chemicals. Kaya hindi kami naman masyado nakapag execute ng laboratory laboratory okay. Moving forward naman sa second year ko na, I had three major subjects which is the ecology microbiology and Analytical chemistry, a chemistry subject again. I know po. So, minor subjects ko naman nun were STS, Con World, Contemporary World, Contextual Southern Communication sa Filipino, and PE3. So, for microbiology naman, we dealt with microorganisms like bacteria, viruses, fungi, protozoa, archaea. Ayun. We studied about the microorganisms cell biology, physiology, the biochemical reactions na ginagawa nila, their ecology as well, ayun. So, we studied also pati pala yung pati pala yung clinical aspects nila, like yung mga diseases na pinoproduce ng mga pathogens na ito, ayun. For example, this mycobacterium tuberculosis is a pathogen for tuberculosis. So, Staphylococcus aureus naman, nagigib rise siya sa mga skin infections. Ganyan. Ito, the Ascaris lumbricoides. This is the parasitic worm sa gut ng human. And for lab activities, we collected one samples, like, tubig sa kanal, ganun. Kasi titest namin, I mean, chichek namin sa microscope kung ano yung mga microorganisms na nandun. So, ito yung actual picture ng nakita namin isa, which is the Volvox. Ayan. Tumingin din kami ng mga dust mites. Yun yung mga mites under your bed. Talagang hindi nyo makikita with the naked eye. Kailangan kong microscope. Ayan, ganyan. Iture na yun alam mo. Kasi lang putong maliliit ng dust mites. For microbiology naman, ang final output namin dito was to um, create a research paper. Yes, research paper. Sa general ecology naman, ito, isa sa mga major subjects for the first sem of the second year. Um, we focused on the relationship of the organisms and the environment. Ito talaga maraming general concepts, concepts about the ecosystem, ecology, about the, yeah, ganon. So, we had lots of field works dito. I can't remember kung ano yung una namin, pero naalala ko, nag-plot kami ng area sa school, tapos, check namin kung ilang ilang kung ano yung mga organisms na nandun, tapos kung ilan sila dun sa area na yon Tapos, ayun, nag-ano kami, nag-catch by net. Ayan, ito yung video. sa so, one-minute video if you wanna watch or just skip it. So, to add, we also, we also have conducted surveys about the current situation of the environment, etc. And for our final output, yat, pumunta kami sa isang community near our school and we planted um, vegetable producing plants like 
I think, talong, the eggplant, sili, and I can't remember the others, but yeah, we planted plants. Another major subject for this semester, for the second semester, is the analytical chemistry. My gosh, this one's deadly too. This is a subject na to, there were different measurements involved with analytical tasks, which is some stupid art. Anyways, yeah, ang hirap nito. Ang hirap to para sa akin. But if you are fond of reading, talaga, you'll get through this subject. Actually, I barely got through this subject. Pero yun, kwento ko na lang kung ano nangyayari. Pero sa lab activities namin, for the lab works, we barely had laboratory experiments dahil na-expired nga yung mga, yung mga um, chemicals namin and hindi calibrated yung mga laboratory equipment. Why? So, as far as I can remember, nag-ano kami dito? Chromatography, wherein we separate namin yung pigments, colors and leads, tapos yun. Ano kung picture, sayang, but yeah, we did chromatography. So, for the second semester ng second year, I have taken biomolecules, evolutionary biology, and genetics as my major subjects. So, for, for biological mo molecules, we talked about, we studied the different macromolecules that build up life, including carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. So, lots of memory, lots of memorizations talaga involved dito sa biomol, kasi each macromolecule has its unique property na nag-distinct, that makes it distinct among the others. Ganun. May nag din namin dito kung paano namin, kung paano nag-work yung macromolecule na yun para mag-function yung isang cell. Ganun. Hindi ko na maalala if we did lab works dito kasi nga either wala equipment or expired na yung chemicals kaya hindi na namin ginagamit. Or, eto, ayan. Meron talaga lagi incident kung nagkikem kami. Kem experiment. Ayan. Sa evolutionary biology naman, we focus sa origin of life tsaka sa diversification and adaptation ng life forms talaga over time. Pag-aralan namin dito yung natural selection, speciation, common descent, ganun. At dito rin talaga sa subject na to, masasagot yung tanong kung ano ba talaga ang nauna, ang itlog o ang manok. Ayun. Habag try din kami dito ng natural selection, stimulation, ayan. Tinuruan din kami ng mga tools na ginagamit sa evolutionary biology but unfortunately nakalimutan ko ng ano yung mayroon. I'm so sorry but yeah, din mo may kung paano gamitin yun. So lastly ang genetics. So it focuses on the heredity, variation, sa cytogenic um, mutations, mga ganon, pati sa nature of genes. Ganun ang pinag-aralan pinag namin sa genetics. So for the lab experiments, mainly ang ginawa talaga namin dito, nag-focus talaga kami sa experiment on Drosophila melanogaster. Ayan yung mga fruit flies. Nag-collect kami and then nag-breed ng, ng samples ng Drosophila. And then, kinecheck namin sa microscope if nagkakaroon ba ng mutations over generations. Like, meron kasi may red eyes. Is meron din. Meron kami nakita. Meron kami na-view na yung leg niya and nandito talaga sa ulo niya. Ganun. And I think the biggest challenge talaga ng experiment na to, experiment na to ay yung sexing, which is isa separate namin yung male at female drosophila. Eh, sa dami nun, iti-check mo talaga isa isa microscope. Siguro tatagal ka talaga ng isang oras sa, sa tatlo pa lang ganun. Kasi nga, nakakalito. Minsan nakakalito talaga. Minsan, nakala mo male siya tapos female, ganun. Mayroon namang, mayroon namang like guidelines kung anong male, anong female, but minsan talaga mahirap. Mahirap makahanap ng verification kung male ba siya or so these are the courses or the subjects that I have taken in my first two years in college as a BS Bio student. So yung third year kasi na subjects maybe I will be talking about it na lang sa next video since online class iba yung iba yung setup kanon. Hindi ako tinaman magfilm ako about it about my third year. Ayon so see you again in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about my my program, just comment below and I'll try to answer them. See you guys.
see you again in my next video. Bye.